The Magic Rabbit, and then Liblong Kate. Ray and Benny lived together in a tiny apartment in the city. They were business partners. Ray was a magician, magician, and Bunny was his loyal assistant. They were also best friends. They did everything together. Every Saturday, Ray and Bunny took their magic show downtown. But one Saturday, the sidewalk was a little more crowded than usual. And just as Ray said the magic word, and Bunny was about to leap from the head in a spray of flaring stars, Abracadabra! Oof! Crash! The sun became a terrible tangle of balls and stars. Juggler and magic magician had and Bunny, Bunny, where are you? Shouted Ray. The hat was empty. Bunny was gone. Meanwhile, the juggler stripping pug was chasing chasing Bunny down the sidewalk and right into the busy street. Car horns blared. Bicycle bells rang. People shouted at the bunny dodging and in and out of traffic. At last, Bunny made it across. He was safe now. But where was Ray? All Bunny could see were legs and feet. Maybe if Bunny followed them, they would lead him back to Ray. The feet led him to a beautiful. Cool green park. It was a wonderful place for a little bunny, for squirrels to fro frolic with a with a little bits of pretzel to nibble on, but no rain. As the sunlight faded away, so did everyone else. Bunny was all alone. Bunny wandered along the dark street, thinking of Ray and wishing that they were sitting down to dinner together right now, and at their own little table in the kitchen. All around it, people were hurrying home to their own dinners. No one stopped or even seemed to notice the lost little bunny. Bunny hopped along a little farther, then slipped down a dark alley to rest. He was tired and hungry and missed Ray terribly. A tear rolled down his nose. His nose twitched. Then his nose twitched again. Bunny smelled something good to eat. It was pop popcorn, his favorite. Bunny got right to business. As he was nibbling, he noticed something shining among the kernels. Glittering stars, lots of them. Bunny followed the path of stars out of the alley, along the street, up a hill, down some stairs, and through the subway station, all the way to. His very own hat. The last train of the night pulled away. Only a magician and his bunny assistant were left on the platform. Platform, but two old friends never mind walking home together. Thank you for watching this book, The Magic Rabbit.